animate your aspect ratios in today's video. Now this effect is really awesome if you wanted to animate some black anamorphic bars onto your video, if you wanted to animate some four three bars from the left and the right onto your video, and then you can get rid of those and do some really cool screen wipes. So let's jump into Premiere and let's start animating our aspect ratios. So once you've loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm just going to begin by creating a new solid. So I'm just going to go into Premiere, I'm going to create a new black video, and then we'll just create a new sequence and we'll drag that black video into the sequence. Now we'll go into the effects tab and we're going to search for tint, drag tint on top of the black video. And in the effect controls tab, I'm just going to go and map the black to white. So I'm just going to use this as the background. This is just so that we can see the animated aspect ratios. So I'm just going to lock that video layer off and we'll drag two brand new black videos on top of that first video layer. And then we'll just extend these out so that it's covering the whole of that white video. Now we'll go into effects and search for crop and we'll drag crop right on top of those two black layers. And now on video layer three on that black video layer, I'm going to go into crop. I'm going to change the crop value on the top to 100% and create a brand new keyframe. And then in the second black video layer, I'm going to go to the bottom, change this to 100% and set a brand new keyframe also. Now, if we scroll across four frames, I'm going to animate this to around 65. So we'll make that 65% on the top and then 65% on the bottom. Then we'll go across four frames and we'll adjust that up to 85. So 85 on the top, 85 on the bottom. Now, if we pull this back and watch, you can see that this anamorphic aspect ratio has bounced into frame and this looks really awesome. However, if you wanted to take the bounce out of the shot, then all you would need to do is just take away that middle keyframe and then that will just nicely slide in. And to make this look even more seamless, you just want to go through, select both of these keyframes on both video layers and then change this to ease in. This basically means that the animation will ease in and ease out into the keyframe, basically meaning there's going to be no sudden stops and starts. So now if you wanted to animate these aspect ratios, you wanted to get rid of them. All you would need to do is scroll across a few keyframes and change the value back up to 100% on both video layers. And there you go. That's the first example. Now we'll just reset this and we're just going to show you another example of this effect. So we'll just pull that back down to 0%, 0% there. And now we'll go into the left and we'll pull the left up to 100% on the top layer. And we'll pull the right up to 100% on the bottom layer. We'll create a keyframe on both of those layers. And then we'll scroll across a few frames and we're just going to pull this percentage down to around 75%. And then we'll make sure that that's the same on both of those layers. So 70% both of those layers. And if you watch that back, that animates in. However, if we wanted to extend this, if we wanted to drag this out because it was a really quick effect, all we need to do is drag that second keyframe out. And then we're just going to adjust the keyframe interpolation again. So we'll make that easy ease. And now, as you can see, this is just eased into the shot and that looks really nice. So again, if we wanted to get rid of this, all we would need to do is create a brand new keyframe and pull that up to 100% on both video layers. And if we watch this back, then you can see that this eases in and eases straight back out again. So we'll just reset this and show you one more example of what we can do with this black video layer. So we're going to adjust the crop on the right to 100% on the top video layer and we'll create a brand new keyframe. We'll go across a few frames, pull that down and create a keyframe for 0% on the left. Scroll across a few more and set this to 100. Now, if we watch that back, that very quickly whips on and whips straight back off again. So we're just going to extend these keyframes out. And there you go. You can see this black layer coming in from the left to the right. We'll just extend that one more time just so you can really catch that. And there you go. The black video layer comes in from the left, wipes across the screen and goes out towards the right. Now, this is really cool if you wanted to transition into another shot or if you just wanted to hide a cut. This is a really cool effect. And this is another example of how this black video layer can be animated to create a really cool effect in your project. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.